everyone this is Bobby at Copel TV repair and today I'm gonna to give you a quick hint for Sony XBR 65 X 900e uh, XBR 55 55 X 900e and 49 X 900e all of those using the LED driver they will have different numbers for the three models probably a2166063A and the particular problem is not with the driver itself the particular problem is with LEDs uh, if your if that if that Sony model comes up and works for 10-15 seconds and then shuts off or five seconds but basically comes up with a good screen and then shuts off and uh, I don't remember the number the number of the blinks I may check that and put it in the description but basically you do get an image and it just shuts off unexpectedly and fairly soon after and then it locks out it's a better LED driver you can test the individual strips and you may find out that they're actually okay or some of them may not be anyhow this is a way to extend the life of the TV for a while uh, until the strips burn to a point where it, they don't light up anymore uh, by making a small mod to this board you can shut off the signal that tells the main board that there is a problem with the LED strips and it shuts down the whole TV and what you want to do is on the connector here this is the fourth pin from left to right and this happens to be give me a second the fourth pin from left to right is well let's say this one it corresponds to the third metal uh, <coughs> copper dot here one two three and what you want to do is you want to remove that resistor or at least that's what I do because I don't like cutting the tracks you just heat it up with a heat gun as I have done and I'm not showing you how to do that uh, you, you know the same effect will be if you just cut this track but what I did is I heat it up and just move that resistor from here like this one and put it up there so that I can restore the board whenever I want and by doing so um, I, I break the connection for the data signal that indicates there is a problem on the board in addition to that however you will want to ground the output so you want to pass ground to here and one way to do that is to just run a jumper from here to anywhere here another way which I found easier is just on the back side where that same hole is going it is again the third one one two three because the fourth one was ground remember the very first pin was ground so one two three it's right here and there is a very short jumper that just grounds that and the effect of that is <coughs> the effect of that is that pin four here pin one is grounded one two th uh, sorry one two three four the fourth pin which again corresponds to here is always grounded telling the main board everything is good so that pin goes up when there is an error it's uh, LED ERR signal and you just keep it grounded and what that will do again is give you a little more life don't count this as a TV repair uh, it's it's undefined how long the, the LEDs may will last before they do a bigger failure but they can run for a while and I can confirm that because there was a customer who wanted the TV uh, for a party they were having the same night and we could not make the solution you know we could not replace the, the LEDs so fast so we told them we can do something we don't know how long it's gonna hold and uh, it did help long story short it did help so sometimes you can save the day by doing that but you cannot make a business out of it or at least i don't think you can uh hope you learned something hope to have helped someone best of luck in your tv repairs